The Chosen RPG on Steam is a video game featuring accoutrements for elegant support. Cool fancy lines of gaudy anime stuff, self-described cat-style boss battles with manufacturing innovative design, great leveling up system with generous tangerine attitude, match your decor because it's awesome when you level up your character, but it only goes up to level 30 and you can't level up anymore. The screen is blank, and that's how the process works in this game than a video game RPG like Final Fantasy VII where you can level up to 90 something. Great natural hunter instincts, greatly magical power moves, interesting mind bending items with quirky names. The story is somewhat interesting like good versus evil, except you're the chosen one trying to keep out of the demon's clutches. Optional creative boss battles to fight, and the best part of the game is very cheap. Get this baby on sale on Steam, and you have like a couple hours to blast through, or if you want to do everything in the game, 9 hours completely. Demarcating construction zones, water areas, ice shivering lands, and even elf lands, you have a mystical adventure waiting for you. The only disappointment I have with this game is the final boss. It's really easy. When you're like full level, what really gets me is that the boss is just a demon, half human, nothing else. Not like some big fancy creative final boss most RPGs have. Some swirling puzzles and striped mazes to figure out in your solvable head, but it's really a good game where you level up and try to defeat the demonic figure, I save the world, and save your father generally speaking. It may be immense to some, but others might not have the charm and might criticize the lack of a bigger game and a bigger plot. Great controls, some airport terminal spots, and controlling a ship to get to land masses is also nice. Some humor, some sexiness, some wormhole travel. You have a JRPG game that is pretty good for the price. Nothing big, just a game where you can waste time on. I give this game a 9.4 slash 10. It's really different, and I can see why I really adored it so much, in a conceptualized manner. Love the Burrito Master.